Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. I'm your host Ryan Krunenberg. So there's been quite a few announcements this week. Amazon have released a new white paper which shows you how to use the AWS WAF to protect against the OWASP top 10 web vulnerabilities. Amazon CloudWatch dashboard gets API and CloudFormation support. Amazon have also significantly reduced the cost of SQL Server Standard Edition on EC2. And AWS have now introduced cross-account delivery of CloudWatch events. So OWASP is the Open Web Application Security Project, and they have a top 10 list of web vulnerabilities. And this is quite famous throughout the IT industry. Now, AWS have released a white paper this week, which basically tells you how you can use WAF to protect against the OWASP top 10 web vulnerabilities. And this white paper actually goes into an awful lot of depth. It's not just use the AWS WAF. It's definitely worth reading. It also comes with um, the CloudFormation template as a companion as well. So last year, Amazon released CloudWatch dashboards, and this basically gave you a customized view of your production environment, and you could go and configure your own widgets, etc. Now this week, Amazon have added support to this, and this support includes both CloudFormation and API. So not only can you use CloudFormation to build out your own production environment, you can also use CloudFormation to script your own custom dashboards. And likewise, with API access, you can now programmatically build out your own custom dashboards. So a lot of AWS customers have multiple AWS accounts, and this could be multiple production accounts, could be test, could be dev, could be UAT, etc. And this week, Amazon have released cross-account delivery for CloudWatch events. So you can pass your CloudWatch events from one account to another, or you can have a centralized account where you track all the different events, and then you can analyze these events as well as uh, implementing advanced security schemes towards them. And this week we've had the 60 second price reduction on AWS and this time we get a price reduction on running SQL Server Standard Edition on EC2. And depending on the region or the instance types, you can save up to 52% on licensing fees. And this is available on R4 instances, M4 instances, I3 instances and X1 instances across multiple regions. And finally, the AWS Summit this week was in Cape Town, and I personally was hoping that they would announce a uh, African region. That didn't happen, but who knows? Let's see what happens next year. So that's it for AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.